you know, in, in Colorado in particular, there's a, a strong sense of community among all the mountain runners here. And so everybody in Colorado knows about Bill Duper. Bill is the number one super fan of ultra running and really one of the, the nicest, most genuinely uh, enthusiastic guys I've ever met. I guess I'm ready. We got all the questions there. I go to a lot of races and I know a lot of runners and uh, I know runners all the way from first place to last place. Last is where I would probably be. You want to try and do well for Bill. <laughs> you know, you come by and you're like, oh, I got to look good because Bill's, you know, Bill's there. And when you go out and you're having the most incredible run or the worst run of your life and then you come into an aid station in the middle of nowhere and Bill Duper's out there cheering for you. I mean, that really means a lot. And, uh, and Bill just kind of represents that, that spirit of community. This is Scott Jurek, one Western, uh, seven in a row. And he's a cool guy too. I, I, I seem to fit in with all the runners. They're, they're all my friends and uh, they do all kinds of things for me. It's, uh, it's kind of unbelievable. Uh, I almost feel guilty. I get treated too good, I guess. It's not mine, it's Mark and Margaret Heafy sent it to me. So I don't make any claim. Here's another one. The race director said that I'm down there all the time, I should have one, so. Well, I'm uh, an old man of 79, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. I, I've always been an outdoor person. I can't, I just can't be cooped up. I hope it never happens, but someday it could. You never know. So you have to appreciate while you're able to be outdoors and keep moving. I am what I am, I guess. Uh, Bill's so genuine. You know, he has this just this natural kind of generosity towards everybody and this 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 sense of like he just really loves it, you know, and you really feel that and he's really rooting for you. You know, when he'll come and he'll he'll give you a pat on the back in the beginning and slip his little piece of paper with his his odds and you're on the list and he's just like I'm I'm rooting for you man, you know? And there's this 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 genuine kind of, you know, love for the sport, but also just kind of support of, of, of the guys doing it. Bill's really, really just a pure fan, you know? You know, that really rubs off on people. A good friend of mine, actually, um, his name's Aaron Marks. He organized this campaign online where people can donate money for Bill to go to Western States. And as soon as I heard the idea, it was like, we have to make this happen. I got it set up and I put it live. Woke up the next morning and I went to class and I came back and I looked at it and we were like halfway there. We, we had done half of what we needed to get to get him there in less than 12 hours. It's unbelievable. Uh, if somebody told me uh, that, that they could do something like that, it would be a little hard to believe. Everybody else knew about it long, long, long time before I did, so uh, they, they, they were talking to me on their computer and I was talking on a co computer and their picture was big on mine and my, I was big on theirs and I was kind of in shock. Well, this weekend I'm going to make my first appearance at Western States, which is the granddaddy of them all. I know I'll fall in love with Western States, I already have. I've been research, doing some research on the history of it and it's awesome. Uh, it's, it's the race that started it. You know, it, it was the first 100 miler and Gordy Ainsley was the guy that made history when his horse broke down and he ran the 100. Well, I, I won't sleep good the night before. 
Uh, but I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be the most excitement I've had in a long time. And uh, when I walk into that finishing line in Auburn, it's, it's going to be thrilling. I wish to welcome all of you to the 41st presentation of the Western States 100 Mile. You're not going to walk, you're going to walk. <laughs> I wish we had a 100 miler every week. Okay. Thank you, see you out there. You'll see me all over. Oh, I'm pumped up. I was up at about 3 o'clock. Boy, that's a sight. Uh, offhand, I don't know. I haven't found anything more exciting. All right, Dylan. Okay, Michael. Hey, good job, good job. Pretty awesome. Big crowd, lots of action. They tell me that uh, I inspire them. Well, so that's their opinion. I guess maybe I do some of them. The runners inspire me just watching what they do. Uh, it's pretty awesome, actually. I don't know how they do it, but they do. He's still in good shape. People, uh, people actually look forward to seeing me at a race, and if I'm not there, I hear about it. Running super fast. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at you, you're turning red, buddy. I'm a little hard to get to myself. You're so young, what are you talking about? We have three more runners on the way. Well, it makes me feel good that I'm a small part of a, a, a big running community. It'd be, it'd be fun to be a, a bigger part of it. It would it'd be nice to be in the race instead of watching it. But I'm happy just. Uh, watching my friends out there and they're turning in unbelievable performances. So good to have you out here, man. I don't think they do it in any other sport the way they do it in ultra running. At least I haven't noticed it if they do.